Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will discuss on thermophiles. Thermophiles are extremophiles, the organisms that can live in extreme environments. The meaning, examples, habitat, classification, molecular adaptation and applications of thermophiles will be discussed here. So stay tuned in this video. What do we mean by thermophile? Thermophile is derived from the Greek word thermotita that means heat and the Greek word phila which means love that is heat loving organisms. A thermophile is an organism, a type of extremophile that thrives at relatively high temperature as high as 55 degrees centigrade, a minimum 45 degrees centigrade, optimal temperature range 55 to 65 degrees centigrade and the maximum temperature range is 80 degrees centigrade. Hyperthermophiles are microorganisms that can grow even at temperature as high as 113 degrees centigrade with 80 degrees centigrade being the ideal. Most of the thermophiles are archaea although some are bacteria and fungi. The examples of thermophiles include Bacillus gyrothermophilus, Thermoplasma acidophilum, Thermus aquaticus. Whereas the hyperthermophiles include Pyrodictium, Oculatum, and Pyrococcus species. Next word is the habitat. Where are the hyperthermophiles and thermophiles found? As we have already discussed, that thermophiles life at high temperature. So the thermophiles are found in various geothermally heated region of the earth such as hot spring like those in the Yellowstone National Park and deep sea hydrothermal vents as well as decaying plant matter such as peat box and compost. Next word is the classification. According to the optimal growth temperature, thermophiles are classified as follows. First one is simple thermophiles with optimal growth temperature is 50 to 64 degrees centigrade. Second one is extreme thermophiles. The optimal growth temperature is 65 to 79 degrees centigrade. Third one is hyperthermophiles. That is 80 degrees centigrade and beyond, but not below 50 degrees centigrade. In a related classification, thermophiles are also shorted as follows. First one is facultative thermophiles. Facultative thermophiles can thrive at high temperature, but also at low temperature below 50 degrees centigrade, they can thrive. Second one is the obligate thermophiles that require high temperature for growth and without this high temperature they are unable to survive. Third one is the hyperthermophiles that has an optimum growth temperature at 80 degree above 80 degree centigrade. Next part is the molecular adaptation. It is the most important thing. To enable them to survive and grow at high temperature Thermophilic organisms evolved a complex range of molecular adaptation in their cellular molecules such as DNA, RNA, lipids, proteins and this molecular adaptation remains them stable and functional at high temperature. How this molecular adaptation remains them stable and functional at high temperature is discussed here. First of all, the lipid rich saturated fatty acids in the cytoplasmic membrane in thermophiles help their membrane to remain stable and high temperature. So the thermophiles contain lipid rich saturated fatty acids that remain stable and functional at high temperature. So how this lipid rich saturated fatty acids in the cytoplasmic membrane makes the thermophiles 
remain stable and functional at high temperature the saturated fatty acids form a stronger hydrophobic environment than do the unsaturated fatty acids and such a hydrophobic environment help this membrane stability in hyperthermophiles next one is the molecular adaptation on enzymes and other proteins in thermo thermophiles the enzymes and other proteins of thermophiles often differ to some extent in their amino acid sequence from enzymes that catalyze the same reaction in the mesophiles it appears that the critical amino acid substitution in only a few location in the enzyme of thermophiles allow it to fold in such a way that makes them much more stable to heat as a result that function optimally at high temperature so the critical amino acid substitution in a few location makes the enzyme of the thermophiles to allow it fold in such a way as a result that it makes them to remain more stable to heat and functional at high temperature the heat stability of proteins in hyperthermophiles is also improved as a result of increased number of ionic bonds between the positive and negative charges of various amino acids and this increased number of ionic bonds between the positive and negative charge of various amino acids makes densely packed highly hydrophobic environment of the proteins which naturally resist the proteins in aqueous cytoplasm the next molecular adaptation in on solutes the solutes of diacetyl phosphate diglycerol phosphate monosaccharide that are produced in high amounts in the cytoplasm of certain hyperthermophiles help to stabilize their proteins against the thermal degradation so the solutes that are produced in high amounts in the cytoplasm that that is a diacetyl phosphate diglycerol phosphate monosaccharide help to stabilize their protein against thermal degradation next one is that since most of the thermophiles and hyper hyperthermophiles are archaebacteria that is archaea they do not possess fatty acids at all in their membrane but instead contain lipids having branched c40 hydrocarbon chains composed of repeating units of five carbon compound called the isoprene that are bonded by ether linkage and this ether linkage provide more stability to the membrane against thermal breakage and the branching of the hydrocarbon that is it has branched c40 hydrocarbon this branching of the hydrocarbon decrease the membrane fluidity therefore the membranes of hyperthermophiles are stable under high temperature condition next one is that the overall structure of cytoplasmic membrane of hyperthermophiles form a lipid monolayer and this lipid monolayer is much more heat stable in comparison to the lipid bilayer of species of bacteria and eukaryotes these are all about the molecular adaptation of thermophiles and hyperthermophiles and such molecular adaptation remain they stable and functional at high temperature next part is the application thermophiles and hyperthermophiles used in different aspect there are a wide variety of application of high thermophiles and hyperthermophiles such as bioconversion of xylose to ethanol example is thermo anaerobacter ethanolicus next one is the degradation of crude oil such as bacillus species third one is the recovery of heavy metal that is bacillus species fourth one is the geo bacillus cheer thermophiles used as biological indicator of autoclave aspergillus cheerus used in breast cancer treatment 
These thermophiles are also used in the remediation of textile dyes. They are also used in bi biotechnological process such as PCR that is polymerase chain reaction. For example, tag DNA polymerase from thermos acotecus used in the PCR that is polymerase chain reaction that is TNA amplification. Next one is the sporotricum thermophiles helps in the sacrification of agricultural residue. The thermophiles also helps in the degradation of keratin. So thermophiles have a wide variety of application. Thank you. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.